Tuesday of week nine talking about something called the stretch shortening cycle. And all we want to understand is just how does this cycle work? Now, when it comes to the stretch shortening, there's some neural components, there's muscular components, and there are three phases. Okay, so let's say that you go into lab and Trevor says, today I'm going to have everybody do a vertical jump. What are some things that you're going to do to help you jump the highest? That sounds funny, but just to have the highest jump possible. Okay. Now, from the neural side of things, we're going to talk about muscle or about those sensory receptors. So we have a rapid eccentric contraction, which is going to activate our muscle spindles. So this is going to, this is going to occur during the counter movement. Okay. Remember, activation of a spindle results in contraction. Easy example, patellar tendon knee reflex. I whack you on the knee. You have quadricep, qua, um, your quadriceps contract, which leads to knee extension. Okay. Now, this is something that has to occur quickly. All right. And so we're going to take advantage of what these spindles do. Then there's the muscular side of things. When we have an elastic or an eccentric, excuse me, an eccentric contraction, we increase tension in the proteins. Remember, tightens like a spring. And so if we stretch that spring out, we're, there's going to be more tension. And so it's going to spring back harder. And as a result, the way that this works is we have what's called increased potential energy. So when you stretch out that muscle, tighten stretched out, it stores energy in it at called potential energy. Okay, potential energy doesn't move, doesn't cause anything to move. All right, kinetic energy, that's when we have something moving. Now, if we go from an eccentric contraction immediately into a concentric contraction, that potential energy turns into kinetic energy, and so we have an increase in muscular force. All right, so we've got three phases. So we've got the eccentric phase. So we're lengthening our muscle rapidly. Okay, so just think about the counter movement that you do before the vertical jump. Okay, this stretches out those elastic proteins like Titan. This causes us to take that elastic energy and it's stored as potential energy. We activate that muscle spindle, which reduces the eccentric contraction. Okay. This leads to the amortization phase. And so this is just that period of time where we go from an eccentric to a concentric contraction. And it has to happen immediately. If it doesn't, the potential energy is lost. And so as a result, if we do it quickly, we have greater force at the, at the beginning of the jump due to increased ground reaction forces. I think Dr. Finn should be happy that we even mentioned those. And as a result, we're going to be able to jump higher. And then finally, we end with the concentric phase. That stretch reflex, okay, activates the muscle. We release that potential energy. It turns into kinetic energy. And so as a result, we produce more force. We're going to be able to jump higher. This is the stretch shortening cycle.